before spending another 10 trillion US dollars on the consequences of the next wave, we estimate that the world will need to spend at least 100 billion US dollars on new tools, especially any new vaccines that are developed. The first and most immediate need is 31.3 billion US dollars for the ACT Accelerator. The ACT Accelerator is the only up and running global initiative that brings together all the global research and development, manufacturing, regulatory, purchasing and procurement needed for all the tools required to end the pandemic. Picking individual winners is an expensive, risky gamble. The ACT Accelerator enables governments to spread the risk and share the reward. In particular, the development of vaccines is long, complex, risky, and expensive. The vast majority of vaccines in early development fail. The world needs multiple vaccine candidates of different types to maximize the chances of finding a winning solution. When a successful new vaccine is found, there will be greater demand than there is supply. Excess demand and competition for supply is already creating vaccine nationalism and risk of price gouging. This is the kind of market failure that only global solidarity, public sub sector investment and engagement can solve. But the ACT Accelerator funding gap can't be covered by traditional development assistance alone. The best solution for everyone is a blend of development assistance and additional financing from stimulus packages to fund this effort. And this blend of financing is the best solution right now because it's the fastest way to end the pandemic and ensure a swift global recovery.